Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Mitchell and I'm here with Steven and Tommy and we can't get enough. We're gonna be doing another photography battle. This week, it was a very highly requested one. It was the mobile photography camera battle. Now these phones are not the top of the line phones you can get. They're not the iPhone 11 XS Pro Max, whatever they're calling it now. I have the iPhone 8, Steven has the iPhone 8, Tommy is at a bit of a disadvantage with the iPhone 7. They all have one lens, so it's gonna come down a lot to our creativity, and they're super beat up, they're like two years old, so you guys out there with the iPhone 11s have no excuse that your phone isn't good enough. The way this works is everyone has two hours to go out and get the best two photos that they possibly can with their phone. They can do whatever they want with their time. They can go home and sit on the couch and just waste all their time, or they can actually go out, hit the pavement, and get some photos. It is currently seven o'clock here, so we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. This is it, Tommy's behind me there, Steven over there. We're all running to our car. <laughs> Okay, so the plan is for me to go back to my house because I've got to pick up a couple things and then we're going to slay in this mobile photography photo battle. So for this battle, I have a pretty cool idea for the actual photo, but I'm gonna need some help to get it. So right now I'm gonna call a couple of my friends and just hope that one of them are available. So I have come to my first photo location. It is definitely not pretty. I think it actually used to be a uh, an abandoned daycare, but all I need is like some sort of step. So I saw this on the side of the road, thought I could just get this done quickly. What I'm trying to do is have a photo that looks like I'm stepping right on top of the camera, but not really. It's kind of hard to explain, but once I get shooting, I'm sure you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so I've got some water to drink, and I've also got these fairy lights. Now I've got two ideas for photos. The first one, you guys are gonna see in a quick sec, but the second one is going to be like Brandon Wolfel or Waffle, Wolfel, I don't know how you pronounce his name. His Instagram's gonna be up there, but he takes these amazing photos with like fairy lights and like these big glasses that have like reflections on them. They're very cool and I wanna see if I can recreate that with a mobile phone. So it's gonna be kind of tricky. Hey dude, are you busy right now? You know those photography battles we do? Yeah. I'm currently, I'm currently shooting one and I need a model. Are you available at any time in the next like hour to an hour and a half? Yes. Yeah, I can, I can do that. I should go have a shower and then eat some food quickly and then I'm ready. Okay, dude, you are a lifesaver. Thanks, Chris. See you soon. Bye. Uh, first. Okay, so my friend Chris is available to help out not until like 45 minutes from now So I'm gonna try and get another photo first The only thing I'm gonna need is to stand on this thing here Then I have some sort of like overhang that I can step on and then just kind of step over it with the camera right Underneath let me just get shooting. I'm sure then you'll understand what I mean And for my model today, I have my girlfriend once again, Noelle, she's back there, out of focus. <laughs> but uh, she's gonna be my model for these photos. So hopefully, things will go well. <laughs> she doesn't trust me at all. Stop, can you open the car, please? Right now I'm just hiking up to the top of this mountain to get a nice view of the city below. The light is looking really nice and we have about an hour and 45 minutes left. So we are great on time. This is so hard. I'm like actually breaking a sweat. It doesn't look that crazy though. Okay, so for my first idea here, it involves a little, of, a little bit of physical activity and uh, Noelle here is stretching in the car because we don't have much time. So she is taking one for the team here and really putting in the work. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. <laughs> I 
I think I'm done here. I think I got the photo. It's still not turning out exactly how I want, so we'll see how the other ones go and then decide if that's gonna be the best photo for me to take. But I'm wasting too much time, so I'm gonna go on to the next location. Okay, we have arrived at our first location. We are in a deserted parking lot here. And my first idea is to have Noelle here. She is a very experienced dancer and we're getting her to put on some point shoes and do a little bit of uh, tiptoeing <laughs> and dancing. I don't know how it, how it works exactly, but we're gonna, I think it'll look pretty cool. The iPhone doesn't necessarily have the best aperture. Like it's quite a deep aperture, so everything's in focus, which makes it really hard to get good quality photos. So I'm gonna try my hardest to kind of work with that and maybe incorporate the background into my photos. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I made it to my first photo location. This is where I'm gonna test out this lens here in combination with my phone. And the way this works is if you shoot through it, you can actually see it flips the image upside down. So I'm gonna shoot through this lens with my phone and hopefully capture a cool upside down image. I'm thinking of maybe using this tree right in front of me here. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but it's definitely gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna work. I got the tree right in the middle of the lens upside down. It looks sick. We might have a, what is this? Third win in a row here, guys. I don't wanna jinx it, but we'll see. I'm gonna try a few different angles here, see what I can come up with, and then we'll head out and meet up with my friend Chris. Okay, so I have come downtown this time. This is my second photo location. For this photo, I'm gonna need a tripod to hold the phone, but because I don't have any attachment, I have to make my own phone holder. So this is why I brought a selfie stick, because I was planning on taping it right to this thing like that, and then hopefully I can clamp my phone Something kind of like that. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's move on to the next photograph. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. I have some okay shots, but none of them are like, wow, and like, none of them are show-stopping, so it's a little frustrating. To be honest, I've never really done that much in-depth mobile photography, but it's actually really easy to get great shots if you know the basics of photography, like composition, framing, lighting, all of those play a huge factor into getting actually decent photos out of your, you know, super crappy, broken iPhone 7. We have arrived at kind of a new location. The car is just down there behind me. This is hard. I am really struggling trying to find some sort of good composition, especially with this iPhone. It's just not, it's not cutting it for me, but we're still, we're persevering. We have now come to the top of this little kind of overpass where some cars are gonna go below. So we are gonna see if I can make this work. But we're gonna try and shoot just in between this bridge here, just so I can get those leading lines and really try to find something that looks good. Perfect. Okay. What I'm trying to do is get a shot in the middle of the street here, as I'm kind of like walking across with these big buildings here on each side. Now, another challenge here is that I have to try to take this photo when there's nothing else on the road, which is kind of hard because this road is kind of busy, but, I will uh, get to it. I'm just gonna take as many attempts as I need to to get the shot. Okay, everyone, this is Chris. Hi. Funny story, uh, me and Chris actually started making videos together way back in like 2013, 2014, and that's how I got started. We made like really crappy GoPro ski edits. Chris is here to save the day as I need a model to be on a skateboard to get one of those um, upside down image shots with that old lens. 
down a road. We're gonna head over there right now. Kind of change of plans here. We got a different setup. We got like clouds and some lights and we got Noel just behind me here. And we're gonna just be doing some more close up of the face with the lights around the glasses, that kind of thing. It's a weird place to be doing it. We're in the middle of a parking lot, but I just don't have enough time to go anywhere. You go do more down. Give me a nice smile. So we made it to the spot. Chris actually knew about this road. It is stunning. We got this insane sunset behind over here. And we're gonna have Chris just skateboard down this road. How would you rate your skateboarding ability, Chris? I haven't skate. oh, I had the Spider-Man skateboard and that's the only thing I knew. <laughs> so I haven't skated in probably about four or five years. Okay, so this is not looking exactly how I would hope. It looks great on a normal camera. It just doesn't look good on an iPhone. It's just, it's not giving me the same feeling. I mean, I'm gonna continue on and keep trying because I don't have many more options. I'm gonna save it a lot in the edit here. <laughs> And sharp right back. Nope, nope, that's not working, that's not working. That actually went pretty well. It's gonna look awesome with the orange sunset in the background. The only issue is I missed focus because you have to be really specific about how far you hold this lens away from your phone. But we'll try it again and I'm sure we'll get a great shot. Nice, that looks sick. We were able to get two quality photos with a theme all on an iPhone 7. I wanna do one where maybe Noelle is standing right underneath the street lights and like there's a nice like casting of light above while she does her like splits or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, just crawl your foot up there. Oh, are you gonna take a picture? I am. <laughs> So I just finished up. Photos didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. The light actually got too low and started getting really grainy. So hopefully I can save them in the edit. I only have like 10 minutes now to get back. So I just decided to pack it in and I think I'm just gonna get back before I get disqualified. So we just finished up here at our, I guess, third location, this pole right here. I think we are basically out of time. It is 8.46. We have to be back by nine to meet the rest of the guys. So I think that's it. Wow, okay, it looks like I'm the first one back. It is exactly nine o'clock and, oh, there is Mitchell. You can't make this up. This was hard. Really? I, I had such a, like, it was such a pain for me to get these good, these photos. And there is Steven, oh my gosh. Okay, we have just arrived back at the park. That, for me, was definitely one of the hardest battles. Steven, how was it for you? All I have to say is, this ain't it. I, <laughs> all of my ideas just didn't turn out as I expected, so we'll see. Maybe I can maybe save it in the edit, but I am not hopeful. That was like the easiest one for me by a mile. I was just chilling. I didn't have to run once. I didn't have to do, didn't even have to hurry. I watched the sunset for a bit. It was beautiful. That's not fair. <laughs> um, anyways, something we forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that all of these photos have to be edited on our phones. So we can't take them to the computer, do any Photoshop wizardry, unless you can do it on your phone. It all has to be done on your phone. Anyways, that's it for today. We're gonna go back to the office, edit these photos up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with the final products.
Okay, so it is the next day. We all got our photos edited up last night. And remember, we all had to edit them on our phones. I used Lightroom Mobile, and I was really surprised how easy it was. I was able to do basically everything I'd want to do on the computer, and I'm actually quite happy with the results. Yeah, I used Photoshop Mix, which is like a little bit more of a like Photoshop oriented programs so you can actually composite things in and I was quite surprised with how much you could actually do on just a phone so it's a pretty powerful machine okay so next up who wants to go first I think I will go first even I uh, these are definitely not my strongest photos I am a little disappointed in how they turned out just because every idea I had was cool in concept, but in practice didn't turn out at all what I was thinking. Oh, it's funny because just before we started this, Steven's like, oh, I've got this. I've got five different ideas. You guys are going down. And yeah. sure enough, now he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just dive into it. It's not going to be anything crazy. This first one here is a pretty interesting composition. It turned out all right. It might be a little weird, but this is my first photo. Oh, interesting. That's yeah. yeah. Is I've, that glass or did you jump? It's, I was standing on a ledge, kind of like this foot here is on a ledge here, and I just kind of like stepped oh, over slowly. I, I saw like this it. on, I saw this on TikTok, but it was much cooler on TikTok. <laughs> my execution was not nearly as cool. Anyways, um, that's my first okay, one. That's good. cool. Pretty good cool. start. My yeah. second one is incredibly basic, and that's about oh, it. I mean, that's nice. Yeah. yeah that's good okay. photo. I was, I was going for like having tall buildings, and you could mm -hmm. see like that big city vibes kind of thing. Yeah. And you get the tall buildings with the sun, but yeah. pretty basic stuff. Nothing okay, too not, crazy. Not too bad, not too bad. Good start from Steven. I will go next. Oh, I guess these are the ones I'm most uh, curious <laughs> yeah. about. These, uh, yeah, these photos are definitely the ones I'm most scared about because every single time you just like <laughs> comes, whip, Tommy, whip Tommy something with, crazy out of the bag. Comes in with the heat. <laughs> okay. So mine, I thought of this idea literally five, 10 minutes before we started. And it was something I wanted to do with my DSLR like two years ago, but I've never done it before. So I thought, why not try it with my phone? And it actually worked like perfectly. Okay, three, two, one, photo number one. Oh, of oh, course. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah, oh shoot. Yeah. So you got like an old vintage <laughs> yeah. lens, you shoot through it and then it pops up the image upside down. So then you flip the entire photo over and then you get like a nice Oh my oh god. god. Nice composition. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, so that's photo sure. number one. Yep. I've lost. I can only <laughs> tell I've lost. And photo number two. I did oh, some wow. skateboarding on the road. Same theme. I got my friend Chris to help out. And um That's yeah. pretty good. This one was a walk in the park for me because I knew the exact ideas, I knew the exact locations I wanted to go to. I just went and was like bang bang, shot the photo in two seconds, and then just shot an extra B-roll for kids. Oh, okay. Well Okay, well, I I'm very impressed. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will go next here. I'm interested to see yours because you said that they didn't turn out, but then in the editing you said that you saved it. I, I, was, I managed to actually, uh, when I was taking these photos, I was getting very frustrated with how they were turning out. They weren't actually like what I was thinking in my brain. I managed to save one of them in the edit. The other one's kind of okay, but one of them I really, really like. Um, okay, so this is the good one. This is my first right here. Oh, oh wow. on That's your phone. Pretty good. Damn. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It looks like you got some depth of field. Was that in? Well, no. Effect? That was after the like in post. I did a radial blur filter oh. around, and it managed to blur the background. And then I added some lens flares in the corner, and up there. So wow. interesting. I like it. Very dome like. Okay. Very like Brandon Wolfel kind of yeah. whatever. Yeah. And then this is my next one, which I was like, Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's not bad. I like the composition, the lighting. Yeah, it's not bad. So, Noelle with her dancing skills. There Good we job. go. Anyways, those are mine. Those look awesome. Yeah, thank you. So now that we've seen each other's photos, we're going to throw these up on our Instagram for you guys to vote. Obviously, this round has already finished, but if you want to take part in the next round, go follow us on Instagram at TMS Productions underscore. You can go cast your vote and maybe affect who the next photo battle winner will be. But we'll see you guys tomorrow with the results. Okay. This is it. Okay. Okay. We're back. We're here to reveal who has won the mobile photography, mobile camera, mobile camera photography battle. Yes. So I've got all the votes tallied on my phone here. Now, as a quick disclaimer, before for previous photo battles, we used Instagram as a way to vote for which photo was your favorite. However, for this time, we decided to do an actual poll on our website, something a little bit different, um, because using the Instagram method, it would take us like an hour to tally up all the votes and uh, just a little time consuming. So we decided to use this poll feature on our website. However, the one downside is that we got drastically less votes than we did 
the, as previous battles. So last time we got around like six to 800 votes. This time we only got about 250. So I think for future battles, we're gonna be going back to the Instagram route so you guys all have a chance to vote and it's super easy for you guys. If you have a suggestion for a better way to vote, go down in the comments and let us know because we're looking for suggestions. Anyways, without further ado, let us reveal who has won this photo battle. In last place, was myself. Really? Oh, I know. What? I really? got a total of 30, 41 votes. My wow. We have the same results every time. Every time. Tommy, <laughs> Steven, Mitchell. I, don't, I, can I, just, I can tell Tommy's gonna win. There's no way I won. Yeah, and then, <laughs> um, okay, so, I mean, whatever. Last place here. In first place was no surprise here, it was Tommy. Yeah, Yay. that's what I thought. I know. <laughs> he got kinda, a, it's kind of like wearing off the special I, I know, <laughs> for the last three or four photo battles, oh. Tommy's always been the winner. Steven's been second place, I've always come in last. A huge determining factor of whether you win these things isn't necessarily your photography skills, it's just the idea mm -hmm. that you have. Like Tommy seems to be having banger ideas every single time. Um, I, one day, <laughs> one day I we're will gonna, come out on top. One of us exactly. is gonna come beat him off his throne one of these days. I'm sure my lucky streak is gonna end here. But thank you for all the votes, guys. I appreciate it. And honestly, the big thing with these is trying to get the most eye-catching photo in like a tiny little square for the voting page. So if you can have something that just jumps out and is something new and something fresh, people will tend to go for that one. Even if, say, you had some like stunning composition or colors or something. Yeah, so yeah. Tommy had a total of... He had a total of 124 votes. Okay, pretty Ooh, impressive. Pretty Out of the 250, that's that's really good. That's yeah, over that's half. Um, and then Steven, the second place here, had a total of 80 two votes. Oh wow, that's actually pretty close. So, that's not, it's too not bad. bad. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, so that is it for our mobile photography battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is quite impressive to see what these phones can do that aren't even top of the line. Um, but if you guys are new here, make sure you go down, comment, like, subscribe, do all of that. Um, if you wanna see more of these battles, make sure you like these videos, because we love doing them. If you're new here, and you wanna partake in voting for the next photo battle, go Instagram right there, follow us, um, and you can be a part of voting for the next photo battle. And I think that's everything, so we'll see you guys next video. Sweet. Now these phones are not the top of the top of the line. <laughs> but the top of the top of the top of the top of the line.